In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a plot from our line probe um, and how to export that plot, the data from that plot, into an Excel CSV file. So here's our line probe. It's going to take data from this uh, location in our temperature. Uh, well, we're going to get, we're going to take temperature data from that location. And we're going to come up to this plots node and create a new plot, XY plot. Okay, and I've actually already done it here, um, and I'm gonna, we're going to rename it temp at z equals 0 0.09 meters. Now, um, once we've created it, we need to choose a part for it to, ac to access data. So we're going to come to our derived parts and choose line probe to select the line probe that we, we created in the last video. Now, after that, the graph is going to pop up and you can come down to the uh, the Y types to select the, the function that you want the probe to display. We're going to come down and select temperature right there. And then boom, some data will pop up onto the, onto the plot. But as you can see, it's all in one location on this graph. And that's because um, it's not being treated as a function of Y. Rather, it's a function of X. But we want to change that. So we're going to come up to the vector quantity under the X type node and change it to be 0 in the first place and 1 in the second spot. And boom, that will give us a nice plot of our data as a function of the, in the direction of the Y. Now, um, so this is our plot. We can visualize it here. But in order to properly analyze the data, you're probably going to want to export it to Excel so you can either import it to a different programming tool or just manipulate it in Excel. So we're going to select this plot and right click it and say export. And then it's going to default. Well, the, the only option we have to export here is a comma separated values um, Excel file, CSV. And we're going to name this the same thing, temp at z equals 0 0.09 meters. And we're going to save that. And then boom, we're done. Um, we have exported this data. And now we can import it into Python or somewhere else to, to manipulate it. And this is the last video in the playlist. I hope you uh, enjoyed making a basic geometry. Again, this these videos are just a um, an introduction to the Star CCM tool. Not meant to be a fully comprehensive um, thing, but um, they, they're hopefully a very helpful instruction.